Hey guys, it's Jamie here. I've been asked in our Facebook group, you can find the link to join that group in the details below this video, about altered books. I've never done one before, but I know the concept. I picked this up yesterday in a thrift shop for about $1.25, thinking about journaling cards, but then when I came to open it, I saw that the pages are sewn in. Pages have got stitching in them. When a book has stitch pages as its signatures, which is a group of pages together, you can use them for altered books. I do not recommend using glued pages. In other words, you can't find stitches as an altered book. Altered books are known to become unstable because you're taking pages out of something that has been designed to have a specific amount of pages. One way to overcome this is to always leave those central pages and take out pages either side. As I don't know quite how many pages there are per signature, initially I will go through this book and just take out a page, the matching pair, either side of the central. You can lift that and then get to this one and hopefully get it so that you don't have leftovers in the seams. These will be set to one side and I will cut pieces and fussy cut for journal cards. But having done the first signature and there are a lot in this book, I now need to find the next signature and do the same. So what I'm doing here is waiting until I see some stitches here. These are my central pages so I'm not taking those out. I'm going to go one either side. I will continue to go through this book taking out one set of pages per central signature. This is the amount of pages that have been removed so far. If you look at the book, you can start to see in the spine here some gaps appearing, which is what we want to see because we're going to be adding to existing pages. It is not enough, but there are lots of signatures in here and we don't want to destabilize the book. Therefore, what we're going to do is go back through find the center of each signature again. Here we've got some stitches and take out a page either side. Go through the whole book, do it again. Now I've been through this book, you can see I've got a central page here because you can see the stitching. I don't know if you can actually see it and the beginning of the signature that central page belongs to. What I will be doing is gluing that central page to that first page, making it one and stabilizing the book. To do the gluing, I'm going to use Pritt Stick because it will wrinkle the pages less and there's a generous layer of it. Then we're going to slam the book together. Now you have two pages that have been glued together. You can make sure that seals good by going over it and burnishing it. This page should be the back page of that signature. Again, glue it all together. I'm basically doing central page to front page, central page to back page. Slam, go back to it, finish it down. Here we should have, I'm hoping, the central page of the next signature and the front page of it. That's our back page of the previous one. And we're going to glue those two together. You may have more pages in your signature. So the main aim is to try and find the front and back, which isn't the easiest to do. The way to do it is to go from your central page, gradually taking out two pages at a time. I'm going to slam that together. We're making the pages thicker so that if we put pockets on, cut them away, do tuck spots, we're gaining more space but strength as well. Very delicate pages, you might be gluing more than two pages together, you might be gluing three or even four. You want something quite sturdy. There are pages we do not glue together. We are not gluing together the back page of one with the front page of another. That is staying as it is. These two will not be glued together. This is the front page of our next signature. It will be glued to that central left hand side. 
equally those central pages are not glued together the right hand is glued to the back our back and our front aren't glued together central pages again so left hand to front here's our center right hand to back back and front are not glued together center center left to front are glued together I'm sure now you are beginning to understand the pattern that I'm following. The main thing for me is do not do this when you are tired because you are going to lose concentration and glue the wrong thing. What you should be able to see when we look at the spine is the gaps beginning to appear. And this is what gives us the room to add extra to the pages. Put your way through until the whole book's done. While this appears to be a lot of pages that have been taken out of this book, when I look at this book, it's still actually quite big. And I think that's because the signatures were small, so we didn't really get to remove that many pages per signature, which does mean that as we start to fill this book up with journaling spaces and pockets, it's going to become what's known as gator mouth. In other words, it will sit open and won't really close. Now the book is prepared, what you may want to do is go through and check the very edges. Because we used a glue stick, it doesn't always grab everything. And you might want to get your art glitter glue and just get any bits that are lifting. But that is it for today. The next video in this playlist will be starting to actually create a junk journal with this book. If you have enjoyed this video, please do all the YouTube-y things like share, subscribe, comment. Don't forget to check out the free Facebook group that's linked in the description below. And also Creators Club, without which this channel wouldn't exist. It's a bit like Patreon and is in the description below. And I will see you next time.